Hi folks, this is Farrakh Alemi with a brief discussion how to download Microsoft SQL software from George Mason University site. The software available on this site is not compatible with Mac computers. I'm sorry. However, you can partition your Mac so that parts of this, it is a virtual PC, then the software can be loaded in the virtual PC. Mac users should first download and install virtualization software such as VirtualBox, VMware Player, or Fusion, or Parallels. In this course, we will be mostly using VirtualBox, but you can use any virtualization software. Then, get a copy of an operating system for Microsoft Windows 10 or Linux or later versions, configure a virtual machine, and install the guest operating system. The remaining of these instructions assumes that you are using a PC or are, if you are using a Mac, that you are in a virtual PC environment. Microsoft Imagine is a portal where students enrolled in the Department of Health Administration and Policy courses during the current semester of their enrollment can get free access to Microsoft products that are required for their courses. Use the above link to reach Imagine Portal. George Mason University students in the Health Informatics courses can have a free one-time, notice, only one-time download of the Microsoft SQL software. Many things can go wrong. Since you have only one free download, please see all of these instructions and make sure that you download the right version of the software and install it on your machine. This is not something you can redo. Must be done correctly the first time around. First, make sure that your computer has a sufficient space for the download. Delete large files and make space or buy a new computer. Make sure that you know whether your machine has a 32 or 64 bit chips. All George Mason students who are registered for a course in the Health Administration program in the current semester are entered into the system at the start of each semester. If your course registration was late, you may not have access. Contact your instructors if your password does not work. Visit this website to sign in after you have listened to the entire instruction set. You will see a software center to download various software. Click register in the upper right corner. Note that the website is asking only for username and not password at this point. Use your GMU email address without Mason Live as your username. For example, John Doe at gmu.edu, not John Doe at masonlive.gmu.edu. Follow the registration prompts. Once done with registration, wait to receive a confirmation email before attempting to log in. Please. Don't proceed until you have seen the email. Again, do not proceed until you have seen the email. Do not attempt to log in until you have seen the email. Shall I say that again? Your username is your GMU email address with Mason Live removed. Of course, this assumes that you have a GMU email. If you cannot log in, confirm that you are using a GMU email address without Mason Live. Confirm that you were enrolled in a HAP course 
in the current semester at start of the semester. Latecomers need to contact the instructors. If you are still unable to log in, use the forgot username and password link on the login page to reset your password. You will not be able to get an account under the HAP license unless you are enrolled in a HAP course in the current semester. However, you are eligible to create an individual student Imagine account directly through Microsoft. This is not exactly the same thing, and the free download is currently available only to registered students in the HAP course. Download and install Secure Download Manager. After download of the manager, you will be able to download the .sdx file for your order. When you run this file, it will launch to the Secure Download Manager, which will then download your order. Notice that the download is not a straightforward one file download. You have to download several files before the download is complete. Your order will download in an .iso format. This is an image file. This is not the real thing and must be mounted to some media before you can access your setup files. You must either mount the .iso file to a CD, DVD, a thumb drive, or use software that can mount the file directly. It is recommended that you mount the .iso file directly for all orders except for Windows operating system for XP 7, 8, Server 2008, which need to be bootable. For instructions on how to mount the ISO to a CD, DVD, or USB drive, please see this guide at this website. If you use Windows 8 or later, you can right-click on the .iso file and click Mount to, the di to directly mount the file to your computer. This is a lot easier, so you may wish to do so. If you are using Windows 7, you can use a free third-party application such as Virtual Clone Drive to directly mount the .iso file. The Imagine program is for developers and Microsoft does not consider Office to be a development package. As Microsoft Access is development environment that is available through the website. The university has an agreement with Microsoft that permits you to purchase a copy of Microsoft Office through the campus computer store. It's called Patriot Computers at a price below the normal academic pricing. You can learn a great deal by using SQL to analyze data within ele electronic health records. Microsoft SQL Server is a useful program and free access to it should be helpful to you but requires careful download.